Testing one, two, one, two. Check, 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 one, two. Hello, Sim fans. How is it going, my friends? Can I get a radio check? Radio check? Test one, one, two. Anyone? Anyone? All right. Thank you, Marion. Be right back with your friends in a moment. Looking forward to this stream tonight. I'll tell you that. Be right back. How's it going, my friends? Welcome to the Wednesday Night Live stream. My friends, my brothers, my sisters, my amigos, my Sim fan family. It's so, so good to see you. It's going to be another different flight tonight. We've been mixing it up, haven't we? So tonight with a different aircraft, friends, we are going to be in the A-10 Warthog from Demos Incorporated. And I can see there's many of you in various aircraft, including the A-10. So let's get into it, friends. But before we get started... Let's get rid of the splash screen. Gone is that. Let's get rid of that screen. Friends, how are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, my friends. It's so, so good to see you. And tonight is going to be a special night because, again, we're mixing it up tonight, friends. And tonight, well, we're doing a Warbirds flight. And actually, it's not the first time we've done that with the live stream. We've actually done that where we did part way to Vegas and then we finished with the F-14. That was a few, 
I don't know if it was months ago, weeks ago, but tonight we're going to be just in the military aircraft. The modern war warbird session is tonight, and then this coming Sunday we're going to be doing the World War II warbirds, my friends. So we're doing this theme thing, theme thing, all right? Okay, friends. So, so, so good to see you. So tonight, where are we flying? Well, for tonight's flight, we will be taking off from Miramar. Yes, and those of you that are familiar with Top Gun, I know some of you, actually probably all of you, are familiar with Top Gun. So we're going to take off from Miramar. That is KNKX, uh, Kilo, November Kilo X-Ray. And let's get the uh, route up top there. Really short route today. Really short route. So we're going to fly from there to our destination of Travis Air Force Base, KSUU, Kilo Sierra Uniform. Uniform. With a stop at Edwards Air Force Base, 9 Lima 2. As you can see right up there, friends, it's going to be a fun night. We're going to be up the California coast. Very scenic. Very, very good uh, scenery we should have tonight. And actually, let's see what time it is. I don't even remember what time I set this to. Let's go a little more daylight there. There we go. See a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, that's the plan for tonight, friends. We'll probably throw in a few landing challenges here and there. And I don't know about all you, but I think it's actually easier sometimes to land the military aircraft because you've got the HUD and you've got, like, the little piper and, like, where you're going to land. It gives you a guide. I'll talk about that in a little bit for those of you that may be new to flying the military aircraft with the HUD. It actually gives you a point that you're going to land on. And why don't they do – actually, they do that with the HUD with some of the um, – 737, more new aircraft, 787, stuff like that. But anyway, I digress. So that's the flight plan for tonight. Oh, and did I mention we might be doing some stunt flying? We're going to go underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and even the Oakland Bay Bridge on our way up the coast, friends. So that ought to be a little bit of a challenge. Not really. It won't be too much of a challenge. Those are pretty, pretty tall bridges. But nonetheless, it'll be fun, friends. So we'll be doing that. And if you haven't already, be sure to grab the custom flight plan linked below the video description. So do check that out. So grab your favorite Myron Warbird, A-10, F-18, F-14, F-15, F-16, or whatever the heck you're flying tonight. Even a regular aircraft. Some of you that want to be flying with us tonight and you don't have a military jet, it's okay. But you should have the F-18 at least. Come on, I know it comes with the simulator, right? From Maverick, the movie, right? So I know you all have a military jet but if you don't want to fly the military jet that's fine too friends but and then for those of you that are in chat i can see there are quite a few of you in chat just fly along with me there's plenty of seats in the a10 you may think this is only a two-seater or a one-seater now nah, i've got i've got enough to carry all 26 of you that are in here friends and so do appreciate you being here tonight and uh let's get on with recognizing all of you that are in chat and then we'll recognize all of you that I can see back there that are flying with us tonight. So, Bucka Bunny, welcome to the live stream. Good to see you. You like that new emoji? Ah, uh, yes, finally, right? Proctus, it's good to see you, Proctus. Welcome back. Don't get what's up, my friend, my brother, my pal. Brooks, good to see you, Brooks. Wadfish is in the house. Biohazard Juice in the house. We got that guy. That guy? How you doing, that guy? Good to see you, that guy. And Chris Evans, my brother from another mother, my Call of Duty counterpart, and kicks my butt every time we play it, but he's, that's why we try to be on the same team. Chris, it's good to see you. Silver Killer. Silver Killer, how you doing, Silver? It's good to see you, man. Are we all ready for a military flight? Let's get our aviators on and pretend we're Tom Cruise. How about that? Aces down in the house. Aces, how you doing, man? It's good to see you, Aces. So, so good to see you. And uh, Tilted Racer, how's it going? Our friend from over the pond. It's good to see you, Tilted Racer. And uh, Old Golfer 67, Mike, how you doing? Old Golfer 67, it's good to see you. By the way, how's that PC-21? I heard you got a little frustrated with that. Was that the aircraft that was just released by Orbex? I don't know. Maybe? Tell us about it later here. Gary P says, hola. Hola, Gary P. Good to see you, Gary P. Thanks for joining us tonight. Gosh, we got a lot of good friends in here. Alan Cleveland in the house. How's it going now on the course? Starship. 
Good to see you, Starship. Sage Texas, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you, Sage. Ricky's World, Pilot Rick. How you doing, Pilot Rick? Good to see you as well. Wow, we got all kinds. Richard Clark's in the house, friends. Richard's in the house. Richard, good to see you as well. Marion Harris, a.k.a. Chippa Sneeze. Good to see you in Watfish. Did I call you out, Watfish? I think I did. Who else came in here? We've got 30. But short round and, uh, and all the rest of you. Don C, I figured somebody got in here. Don, so good to see you, buddy. And great, we have 31 in here already, friends. It's time to get started. But first, let's check out our friends that are actually in the sim as well. Some of you in chat, some of you in here. We got Tip Bird. Tip Bird, it's been a while. Good to see you as well, Tip Bird. Alan, been great to see you. Unveiling Comet, when's the last time you got in here, Comet? Good to see you, Comet. Comet's like, I'm going to fly the FA-18, Symphonatic. I'm not going to miss this. Tell the racer I can see you over there. Like Tomcat, of course you would be here, right? This is like your stream, buddy. Good to see you. Let's see who else is here. Let's just do a walk over. Who is Slug Slinger? Slug Slinger, I'm not sure. If, yeah, Slug Slinger's probably with us. This is the VF-35. By the way, party foul. I should have got the VF-35, shouldn't I have? I'm sorry. Silent Bandit up top in the A4. How cool is that? And Richard Clark, three months down. You're building a great stream. Keep it going. Hey, Richard, thank you for your continued support, my friend. Thank you for that three months membership, for that support and contributions, as well as the rest of you. Thank you, Richard. Very nice of you to say, my friend. Uh, Chipper Sneeze, Marion Harris Practice. There you are. Biohazard Juiced. Right there. Bio oh, I like that. Biohazard War 5. Ooh, watch out for Biohazard. He might shoot us down. He might switch to guns because it'll be too close to our butts for missiles, right? Practice down there. Chris Evans, we see you in the F-18. Good to see you. Old Golfer 67 as well. TNT Simulate. TNT, what's up, my brother? And then we got Bad Boy Diamond in the house, and I don't want gonna miss you, old god. Look at all these freaking aircraft. We got a lot of static aircraft too. There's not actually that many people in here, but we'll say there is. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? We'll take the credit. Uh, Bad Boy, good to see you, and Wadfish back there. So so good to see you. I didn't see Bunny. Uh, slug, a uh, slug. Slinger, Slug Slinger. There's Bunny. Figured she'd be on the active. Welcome, Bunny and uh, Don in there. And Original Happy, how's it going, Original Happy? So good to see you. And uh, oh, Lane, you don't have the F-15. <laughs> Another one. I need to get practice. Okay, I should have done my homework. I'll have to like figure out what you all have, you know, for the Sunday night stream because we're gonna do the Sunday night stream. Uh, at 8.30. It's going to be a nighttime stream. I'm sorry. I know we try to go for 2 o'clock my time, but it's going to be a later flight. But it's kind of keeping with the standard nighttime flights that we've been doing so many of. But holy crap, I think we have a squadron. Actually, I think we have more than a squadron tonight. And Proctor says, get your wallet ready. No kidding, buddy, right? And actually, before we get started, I'm going to jump in the aircraft here. But before I get started, one of the things that I do want to talk about here is um, I did pick up, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the tunes for now. I did pick up another JP uh, mount for my T1600M. So I've got the throttle and the flight stick. I'm going to upgrade to a Warthog at some point. I completely messed up because it was actually on sale on Amazon. And it wasn't like a reseller, it was coming from Amazon. And I missed the boat because it was like 489 and now it's back up to 550. So yeah, I mean, I complete <laughs> fail on that one, I know. But uh, one thing I want to show you is what this looks like. What I like about this is like, you, if you want to, hey, 36 already in here. Look at that, 26 likes. Friends, you are all so amazingly incredible. But here, I'm going to show you something. What I like about this is like, if you only have so much desk space like Symphonatic, I only have so much desk space. What I like about the JP, they're 50 bucks a piece. I think you can get two of them for 80, like a discount. But what I like about these is that you can get your stick and rudder feel. So it doesn't. you don't have to be doing military aircraft, but it works great for the military aircraft because if you look in the A-10 here, of course I've got the stick right in the middle there and you got the, we've got the um, throttle over to the left, as you all know probably. But what I'm gonna show you is I would turn on the what's typically the Bravo cam, but I don't have the Bravo cam right now going because I'm not using the Bravo throttle quadrant for once tonight. So if I pan over here, this is the JP. So you see, I've got the T-1600 here and um, I don't know if you can really see it. I'm not going to take it off the mount. But you, you can see this, th this contraption here. And it's got a quick release lever on the back, which is nice. And then what I have is over here, I've got another one for my... Can you all see that? It's kind of... What, what am I doing? Come on, Symphonatic. 
you know better. Let's get this open and let's get this bigger for the Sim fans. Look at that. That's nice. So if I go back over here, now you can see a look. Yeah, that's that better. Is that better, friends? So there you got the JP. So this this thing here, and it takes a little while to get set up and adjust because you got like 1,025 bolts and nuts for the thing. Not really, but it's a lot. But you can see I can mount that right right on here, and then it goes right between my legs. Look at this. Like so, I can go right here, and then I've got that right there. And then over here, I've got my throttle, which is nice because that's also, as you can see, on this JP um, mount. And boy, and it's solid, it locks on. And notice I don't have that much room um, on my uh, desk there. So anyway, I just thought I would show you all that. I, I, do, um, I do recommend those highly. Yeah, they're 50 bucks a piece. Okay, fine, but it's not that bad and you again you can get two of them so those of you that have it and it works with multiple controllers so i know some of you may have the um side tech controller with the throttle some of you have the threat the uh, warthog it these do work with the warthog they obviously work with the t1600m and a lot of them um and i'll try to remember to put a uh, a link to them because i know some of you actually had gotten these um after i mentioned them and uh, i would like to know if you think they're good but i think they're good you know i would i would never i'd never tell you all something that I didn't think was good. Um, not on purpose. Okay, so I think, <laughs> are we ready, friends? I think we've got enough of us out here. Man, this is, like, I can tell there's a lot of you that are around because, like, my frame rates have taken a dip, and I just, like, I know it, and it's all worth it because if there's a lot of planes in here, I start, I, I start having a frame rate impact. But, hey, it's all good. I'd rather have all of you here and be at, like, three frames per second than be by myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the engines. And I'm not going to go through the cold and dark. I'm going to do the cold and dark, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do the auto start for the engines. Now, let me talk about this aircraft. Now, I actually picked this aircraft up when there was that big sale through, I think it was July 31st. And, actually, this was on sale for, like, $9.99. My son's like, Dad, are you going to get the A-10? I'm like, I don't know, T. I've got the A-10 for the for DCS. Like, some of you fly DCS. We did one live stream with DCS. And I'm like, I've got the A-10 for that. And it's got all the weapon systems and, and all the flight systems all work. Every single knob and controller work on it. This is definitely a dumbed-down version. Nothing against it. I actually think it flies fairly close to the DCS version, not, not completely, but it doesn't. they didn't do too bad a job in the flight model. But there's a lot of stuff in here that you can't click on, like up here you know, in the HUD area. You can't click on this. You can pick this up in Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace, and I believe it is 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 25 bucks. I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's fun one to fly around. And I I actually, since I did a live stream with the F-18 before and the F-14, maybe I didn't do the F-18. But I'm like, I'm going to fly the A-10 because I haven't flown the A-10 yet. So we're doing the A-10. And I'm using the Arctic Scenery. Arctic Scenery. I'm using the Arctic Livery. Arctic Scenery. <laughs> F-14 and F-16, everything works. Yes, Bunny. I know. And I need to... Um, I have the F-14, and we were, you know, we, we did a test flight last night. We, we flew that. Uh, Kelly Kell, how's it going, Symphony? Kelly Kell, welcome to the live stream. Good to see you, Kelly Kell. Thank you for joining us tonight. I think we're up to 36 here still. Um, and let's see. Buckle Bunny says, don't buy it. Okay, I would say don't buy it for full price. I'd agree with that. But for $10, I don't think you can really lose too much in $10. Maple Leaf is in the house. Maple Leaf, hey, how's it going, Maple Leaf? Thank you for joining us tonight, my friend. And um, I don't know, what, what runway are we taking off from? Uh, I was going to record the runways down here, but I never got around to it. i just uh, been busy at work and stuff. Like 280 at 11 knots. So we can actually go. So this is kind of nice. If you go to da -da -da -da, ATIS, and it'll tell us what runway we should be taking off from. And the winds. 269. Is that, how close is that? If we look at uh, Parallel Studios here. Not exactly, but not too bad. Not too bad. Make sure you set your altimeter. Too far right and too far left. All right. There we go. Do four right. Okay. The other thing, you do have an HSI over here. And so you can see we've got our HSI, and we can actually do some of this stuff. So we can actually, uh, 
uh, let's go over here. If I want to go over here, that's my attitude indicator. And if I go to menu, um, where am I at? Target, menu, there we go. GPS, so it says not implemented, so you can see some of the stuff isn't totally working. Uh, HSI, there we go, and so we can see that. So we're going two, four left, so we kind of have an idea of where we need to go. So I think probably most will be over there, oops. And I need to enable track IR, and we got somebody right next to me, which is fantastic. Who's right next to me? All right, let's go ahead, and uh, I'm gonna disable the parking brake, if I can remember which one it is. I think it's that one. There we go. And we can make our way over for a runway. Oh, geez, I'm gonna run into somebody. <laughs> Whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-daisy. And uh, ignore the uh, horrible frame rates right now. Like last night, it wasn't this bad, but we've got a lot of stuff that uh, I'm having to draw here, and so it's all good. And we'll get ourselves taxied on over here. Sweet. And actually, if I go down here, let me do this quick. See, it takes me a little bit because I'm not used to these controls. I'm used to having the alpha flight controls. But if we go over here and let's go nose illumination. And I've got a few other things here to hit. Uh, what else am I? Ina collision on. And there's one other one I wanted. Not signal lights. Position that's steady. That's okay. Oh, yeah. I want to go over here and go to taxi which is downwards okay there we go all right delts leaving already why is delt leaving already let's go ahead and take some family photos though friends look at this holy crap we've got a lot of us i mean is this this might be a right this might no nah, i don't think it's gonna be a record quite yet but it, it's gonna be damn close it's gonna be damn close look at even biohazard right there wow well, I'll get a I'll get a picture here as I get myself situated. So let me do that. Thirty-seven watching is right, buddy. That's amazing. All right, so let me get forward here. Get the uh, parking brake off, and then you might notice that in the lower right-hand corner of the um, HUD right there, it says NWS. What that stands for is knee knee. Yeah, that stands for knee. No, it stands for nose wheel steering. And so with this aircraft, if you get above, I think, 18 knots where you're rolling, that NWS disables, and it's really hard at that point to steer the airplane. So watch for that. Let's get over here. So it should be over here. It's 2-4, I think, right? Where everybody is. Get yourself situated. Oh yeah, that's where everybody is. Uh, let's see, Doug Gamp says, Sympanetic have to get this mobile unit from Greenville, North Carolina to Hartford, Connecticut by tomorrow night. Oh, no worries, no worries, Delt. Hey man, thanks for joining us tonight, Delt. I understand, but my buddy, no worries at all. Hey, I just appreciate you coming in here and saying hello. And um, even if it is only momentarily, just like the rest of you. Uh, but uh, good to see you, Del. Hopefully we'll get you. Will you be back by Sunday? I can't remember if you're going to be back Sunday to fly the Warbird, uh, you know, the World War II Warbirds. So, Del, uh, have a great night, great uh, trip, and Godspeed to you. We hopefully will catch you on Sunday, my, my friend. CSGO Weirdo is in the house. Is that the A-10? It is, my friend. It is the A-10. And a lot of other aircraft. We got F-15s. We got F-20. I, I don't know why I see the F-22. I don't. I don't understand that because I don't actually have the F-22. So why that shows up and the others don't is beyond me. Uh, blue skies dealt. Blue skies. Um, but uh, look at this. I really should have picked up the F-15 and the F-16, shouldn't I have? No. Nobody needs to tell me I needed to because I really should have, and I know that now. I should have known better. All right, so let's go ahead and take a... Because God is your co-pilot, Symphonac. There you go, Bunny. That's, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to get over here. Man, the, these are choppy frame rates, and it must just be all the uh, military jets, because this isn't really payware, although it is, um, it is um, 
a little bit better uh, hand painted because you got the static aircraft, uh, aircraft and everything there. Looks like original Happy and Tip Bird is over on 24 left to take off. And um, let me get one more screenshot. And then once we get in the air, it should all be better. We look like aircraft carrier. No kidding. No kidding. All right. So, um, and one of the things I think is kind of helpful, and you can choose to do this or not. But I'm going to go ahead and launch the GTN 750. Yeah, I know. Symphonic, really, a GTN 750 inside an A10. Let's just pretend that we installed one because we can. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get this loaded up here. Let me check something while that's loading. Um, I think everything looks good. Okay. So I go over here and I go to map. And I can zoom out a little bit. And so we're going to take off and go to the right. And if I zoom out a little bit farther, we can see our route. And we've got a, a good distance to go. And we keep zooming. Um, and then the thing I notice about this aircraft is it'll actually show us waypoints in the um, FMC, like down here. It'll actually show us FMC. So uh, let me see here. Position I net does, that actually does work. That's working right now. That didn't work last night. Well, that's cool. Um, position. This is working. It didn't work last night. Wow, that's pretty pretty uh, insane. Uh, do we have a legs? Ident uh, navigation. Waypoints. There we go. Waypoints. So you got waypoint four, destination waypoint zero, original, because we got some custom waypoints. All right, are we ready to take off, friends? Are we ready? Are we ready? I think we're ready, friends. We are ready to take off and we've got a lot a lot of military aircraft and so whoever is in front they want to get us going because i'm in the back let's see who is in front don or buckle buddy buckle buddy's taking off in the a10 let's go ahead and do it friends and here we go and here we go Somebody just went underneath the, uh... Wow, I've never seen this many military aircraft taking off... ...at one time. Except for, uh, I'm trying to remember, who's the DCS group? That I just love. God, I can't think of their name. What's their name? Somebody's gotta know it. The, the DCS group that they all fly together and do, like, different crazy challenges and stuff. All right, uh, taking off and gear up. There we go. See y'all on the other side, friends. See y'all on the other side. And we're all going like wild bumblebees or fireflies all over the place. Look at this. F-18s, F-22 up there, light Tomcat, tilted racer in the AV-8 Harrier. There's another one I should have, right? TNT dropping the STV. Victoria Wainwright says hello. Hello, Victoria. How you doing? Thank you for joining the stream tonight. Appreciate you being here. We got some clouds. Got some weather, friends. A little bit of weather. Uh, don't forget to put up those flaps, friends. Don't forget to put up those flaps. Put up the flaps, and we'll get ourselves situated here. I'm going to disable the track IR for just a moment, so I'm not making you all sick that are in here. So, friends, welcome to the stream. We got 42 watching right now, friends. 42. What is it? Because we're flying military aircraft tonight, or what's what's the deal? This is awesome. Appreciate y'all joining. Doing a little something different tonight. Flying some military aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and uh, appreciate you all joining. Silver Killer, I see you up there in that Tomcat, buddy. I see ya. And I did, by the way, get the um, autopilot working with this, kind of crudely, but it does work. Um, if you're asking me what uh, altitude we should go to, let's just get above the clouds. Maybe we can go about 18, well, let's get above 18,000 feet so we can do uh, TNT's favorite part, right? Just for TNT. I forgot to show how you can get the uh, different tanks and stuff to um, show up and disappear. That's a good shot, too. Look at that. Look at that. We're all going crazy tonight. Did a little stunt flying or something? I 
Uh, Buckle Bunny says, oh my god, I guess I do, Bunny. Let me get my, my uh, autopilot. We're already at 36 likes. Amazing. Amazing. 36 likes already. Thank you, friends. Well, uh, we will be doing a dance here, a symphonic shuffle, if you will. Gotta do it, right, weirdo? Right, Bunny? Of course. Let's get up to about 18,000 feet, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and enable if I can remember which one I've got. I've got my my uh, TCS throttle programmed for the uh, different autopilot functions, and so I got to remember what I did. <laughs> I, I've got I think up is heading, down is navigate, uh, right is altitude. So and then I've got my bottom switch. Let me go autopilot. Let me go nav. There we go. Looks like it's taken over. See, I got my hands off of it. See, Bunny, I'm telling you, the autopilot works in the A-10. The autopilot works in the A-10. You just got to map them. I know you're on Xbox, so that makes that makes it hard. Don says, no dancing, Bunny. Oh, it's happening, Don. Now, I want to get myself up to 18,000 feet. So I'm just going to trim this baby out a little bit. Enrique! How's it going, Enrique, with the F-22? See, I can see you in the F-22, buddy. I don't... Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, we better not have anyone trying to pounce on us because we are fully loaded. We have, like, got a military... We got basically a whole squadron here. Now, let me see if I can do the altitudes. I think that one I've got to set to down. And let's see if... Nope, that's nav. Let me keep the nav and then out. There we go. I think that's going to level me out. And i got to make sure I stay at 330 or below. Is that right, Bunny? Because I know you're in the A-10. Are Bunny and I the only ones in the A-10? I don't, I haven't seen anyone, but Clyde's still down there. Ooh, I better make sure that that doesn't, um, I don't want to hit escape, but I'm, I'm afraid now because <laughs> TNT, you know this. <laughs> testing, testing. All right, let's see if this is on. All right, we all know what this means. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Although I don't have an STD button on this TNT. I don't have the STD button. Like, is there an STD button on this? I should know this. I have the A-10 and DCS, but I just don't remember because it's been so long. We're going to pretend there is TNT. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, STD syphilis. Testing, one, two, three, syphilis. Testing. So we make sure you got your standard pressure. That's what that means, kids. Standard pressure. We know this. We know this. You've been flying with me long enough. You should know this, friends. You should know this. All right, so we're on our... So we're about leveled out right now for all of you at about 19,815 feet. Let's take a look outside. And oh my gosh. Look at all of you back there, you crazy pilots. Look at you. Beautiful. Look at that. Woo. Did I just see Hilly Bill? Hilly Billy. <laughs> In the dark. There's Huzzah, Huzzah, how's it going, Huzzah? Been a while, see Chris back there practice, Silent Bandit, Silent Hill Bandit, uh, Silver Killer, Kyle Malcolm back there in the Eagle, Tilda Race in the AV8, Short Round the Tomcat, Task Force, oh, Task Force I don't think's with us. All right, but look at all these planes, friends. Bad Boy Diamond. This is pretty freaking epic, epic. All right, so uh, time for a little symphonetic shuffle. You know, I aims to please, and I don't like to disappoint. So, friends, with the 38 likes, I'm going to have to do, like, another dance here. Right after I get done with this one, I have a feeling with you all being so supportive. But here's to you, friends. A little symphonetic shuffle. Get ready. Get groovy. Get it on. Get it on, friends. Orange whip time. Orange whip. Orange whip. Hey. Hey, hey. You. Orange whip. Three orange whips. Let's do it. Yeah. Just for you, Don. Friends, thank you so much for that third of those 38 likes. Mwah. Thank you so much, my friends. I appreciate you so much. We'll break that music just down right now, and we'll, we're two away from another one. So y'all might want to wait, because I know it's painful to see me do that. I know it's painful for me to do it, but I just love y'all, so I do it for you, even if you don't want me to do it. <laughs> we got the bunny emojis. We got the orange whip emojis. We've got the symphonetic shuffle emojis. Weirdo. Captain Fozzie. How you doing, Captain Fozzie? Good day, mate. 
It's good to have you here, Captain Fozzie. Good to see you. Willie Thornton's in the house, dropping the orange whips. Willie, thank you so much for that, my friend. Angel 15's in the house. I gotta keep my... I gotta be like Shane. I bet Shane's lurking right now. But I gotta be like Oz Flight Sim. I gotta keep my eye on the prize. And the prize is all of you, right? I gotta keep my eye on the chat. But I'm just not used to, to doing military aircraft. And um, why am I going so slow? I should be going faster than this. Do I have my... Um, I don't have the flaps on. Hopefully I'm not making the rest of you stall. But anyway, I gotta do a better job. I know, I keep an engaged in chat, but I'm working on it, friends. I'm working on it. God, I wish I could play some Top Gun, some Kenny Loggins right now. If I just wouldn't get a copyright claim, I would so do it. We could pretend like we are like Goose and Maverick and uh, Iceman and who else? Who else we got? Uh, Hollywood! Hollywood! And, uh, gosh, what are the other ones? You should know this, right? Hollywood, Goose, obviously Maverick, Iceman, Wolf, isn't there like, uh, Wolfman, something like that? I don't know why this keeps turning all the time, but... Alright. Dead meat from Hotch. <laughs> Slider! That's right, Slider! And dead meat. Oh my god. Merlin! That's right, buddy. Merlin. Merlin, Maverick, and Goose. Savage down there in the AV8. Nice, nice. Cougar. God, how could I forget Cougar? Cougar is the one that lost it, turned in his wings, right? Got, well, I, 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 had, I had Iceman, Willie, but uh, yeah. I was trying to remember that bunny. Thank you, Cougar, because I was trying to think like, who was the guy that like had to be, Maverick had to help get back to the carrier? That was Cougar. Oh, look at those mountains down there. So again, we're flying. We can't see a whole lot of the coast and the California coast because uh, we've got all these clouds. But that's okay. We like clouds, right? Rio is very important. Absolutely, absolutely important. Got to have the Rio. That's right. All right, well, uh, let's see. Let's do this. My friends, let me... Um, and we can see um, the, the time that I'll take to our next waypoint, but give me one second. I'm trying to... I just hear something pop. I swear I heard something pop. That one, that's not good. It's not good. There we go. Some tunes in here. How's the sound? Sound too loud? Got the engines? Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good shot right there. That's a good shot. Gotta capture that. No, I'll, I'll be posting these later on Discord, of course. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My friends. My family. My wing. <laughs> About to hit the canopy on that F-14. Who is that? Who goes there? Everybody's got to fly inverted. I should drop my center tank, right? You can't actually drop the center tank, of course. Look at that. The crazy pilot's you. Am I getting ice on my windshield? Oh, wonderful. That's fantastic. I won't be able to see out of this thing. I'm getting ice. There's got to be, uh... Oh, God. Didn't even think about this. Uh, where's the heat? It's got to be heat. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. God, it's been so long. I can't remember. Watch, I'll, fr I'll freeze up and fall out of the sky. That'll be fun. Breathe on the glass. <laughs> oh, shikes. Here we go. Defog? I don't think that's going to work. But let's try it. Windshield defog. Windshield... What, what is this? I don't even know what that says. Watch me, watch me end up... Um, Pedo, he probably should turn that on. 
I don't know if that's gonna work. Probably not. Well, this is lovely. Everything's... Go figure. I can hit... Ah, there you go, Brooks! I can heat it up with my afterburner. <laughs> well, let's go a little higher, shall we? Let's go, um... Let's get up above uh, these clouds and maybe we can get this, this, uh... To come up. Well, actually, we're only 9 minutes and 13 seconds away from our... Is that right? Yeah, it is. To our first airport... And uh, so the first one is, let's go over here, and it should be uh, Edwards Air Force Base, right? Yeah, so 9L2, so that'll be um, the first, uh, so let's go ahead, we've got nine minutes, we've got to lose, I don't know, what's Edwards Air Force Base, 9L2, let me pull up my charts. I'm clearly not prepared. <laughs> This is one of those nights. It's like, yeah, we gotta fly the military aircraft. We'll just, we'll just wing it. It's not like our normal commercial flight where I gotta do the stars and sets and everything like that. Let me see, nine L two. There we go, Edwards Air Force Base. So, friends, Edwards Air Force Base is elevation twenty three hundred feet. So we're gonna drop down about thirty three hundred and stay away from terrain. Um, longest runway is 5,900 feet. Open airport. Runway is uh, 2406, so we'll have to watch that. I'm going to go ahead and start descending. Not that we have to descend this early, but I want to get this ice off because it's not clearing. So let's go ahead and start descending. There we go. And hopefully I can get some of this ice off the uh, canopy here. We're flying in the black. Now we're in rain? Oh, great. That's all I need, Bunny. Be in rain. We'll start descending here. Below that 18,000 feet, and I can't see anything. This ought to be interesting. So we're gonna land on runway 24, you think, friends? Look at that scene. Look at all you out there. I don't know why the de-icing's not working. I might not have everything on. Um, let me see. I don't know. Uh, windshield de-ice. Look at that. Windshield de defrost and de-ice. I don't know why that's not working, Bun. Again, this this aircraft, I mean, it's $10, right? I mean, it's 30 but I don't know. I mean, how much can you expect? You can't expect everything to work. Uh, Buckle Bunny, I can't see you. It's, it gets better lower altitude. Yeah, we're hoping we're going to melt this ice and it is getting better. So that was the hope, right? We get below um, where we get above freezing. And uh, we can melt this ice off, and it's happening now, so see a network. And we should be, yeah, now we got it cleared off, so we're good, Bunny. And uh, about five and a half minutes from Edwards. So I'm going to level off a little bit. We're going to continue to de descend. We're descending about uh, 3,500 feet per minute. Yeah, it won't take long. And level that out a little bit. There we go. Wow. Wow, look at everybody. All those mountains back there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I need to turn the volume down just a touch. Just a, 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 a tiny bit here. All right. So runway two four is that what I said? Yeah, runway two four. Are we doing a landing challenge? What's your speed, Symphonac? Two ninety seven, Bond. Two ninety seven. And I've got a clear canopy, so that's nice. Ah, uh, look at Enrique with the F twenty two. Beautiful, my friend. Beautiful. Where are you at, uh, Bunny? And where's the rest of you, like Silva Killer? 
practice down there in the Tomcat. Why am I climbing? I don't want to climb. Like, the, the autopilot is definitely um, a little iffy on this. If you get the A-10, what I would recommend is um, map your autopilot functions to your controller. Uh, either use your keyboard or use your controllers, right? And look at this. We're almost at our first airport. And it hasn't even... I mean, Rude, where the hell's Rudin been this whole time? Like, it hasn't even been 45 minutes since we started this flight. And uh, no Vruden to see us, like, make record time here. <laughs> Way behind you, Speed Racer. Oh, I'll slow down. I'm going to slow down. Yeah, we'll give you all a chance to catch up. Let me slow down. But if I, if I get a land first, we can do the landing challenge. See who can put these, these uh, military aircraft down on the numbers, right? So here's the thing. Commercial flight. Not on the numbers. On the thousand footers, right? So the thousand footers. So landed. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to land it, bun. We're going to land it, and we're going to have the first landing challenge. So we'll have two landing challenges tonight. So we'll do have our first one at Edwards Air Force Base, which we're landing, we're going to right now. That's only uh, 22 nautical miles away in about three and a half minutes as the crow flies in as fast as we're going right now. Going a little faster. The nice thing about the military aircraft is like, yeah, you can drop and dive like a freaking manhole cover, right? Or you can do the stuff like this where people are inverted. Like silver mother button killer. Silver killer. Look at you. Look at you. See Kyle Falcom back there. Old golfer 67, tip bird, Proctus, Huzah, Enrique, short round, Wattfish, Buckle Buddy's back there in the A10. Oh, tip bird's in the A10 as well. So, Buckle, we've got a few of us in the A10. Very cool. Wattfish is in the A10. Wow, look at that. Look at that, friends. Did anybody notice anything different about the stream? Anybody notice anything different about the stream, in particular about the screen? And I'm not talking about the route showing. I want to see who the first one is going, not that. Who's going to be the first one that notices what's different? Buckle Bunny can see everyone. That's always good, isn't it, Bunny? Look at, all, look at this. I'm like bouncing all over the place. Yeah, exactly, TNT. TNT gets it first. TNT, you win the prize, buddy. You're right. Got a different animated logo in the upper right. Actually, Blando, um, one of uh, my moderators, actually did a few new animated small logos. And so, TNT, you did notice. Nice. So, mix it up a little bit. You did a good job. So, thank you, Blando. I don't know if you're out there. I don't think you are because usually you would say something unless I missed it. But uh, shout out to Blando for doing that and uh, appreciate it and we are getting ready to land at edwards here and um got you all let me land first std eyes <laughs> we got a little bit of a layer of haze here no that's just the that's that's not haze that's just the just the sand below of course i'm slowing it down i'm at four thousand one hundred there we got to get down to what did i say um the Altitude of the airport is 2,300 feet. It's one foot shy, so I'm going to get down to about 3,300 here. And I think we can already see Edwards. Or some airport over there. All right, I'm going to turn off the autopilot. Disengage. This is what's fun about flying the military planes, right? You can do that kind of those kind of maneuvers, right? There, oh geez, Bunny, you just like got ahead of me all of a sudden there. Nice. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the. Should I get turn that off right now? All right, there's our airport airfields in sight. I'm gonna go ahead and drop one notch flaps, and I'm gonna go ahead and lower the landing gear. There she comes. Oh God, no. I thought I was in trouble there, TNT, for just a moment. So if you look, I've got that ball, that green circle. And, um, but you also notice on the HUD, just give me a second here to get corrected, because it's kind of showing me my glide. See that, that piper down there? It's the circle with the three lines coming out of it. It's actually gonna show you where you're gonna touch down at. 
It's almost like, it almost feels like you're cheating because it's so easy. So you just place that that Piper on where you want to land. Now you gotta make sure you're not going too slow. Like I'm starting to get too slow here. We get here, straighten out. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I'm at Edwards Air Force Base. Am I? I'm not at Edwards Air Force Base. <laughs> Okay, well, let's just say that was a uh, little practice approach. Oh, my God. <laughs> Diversion. <laughs> okay, well, it actually looked like it was going to be there, but it's like, wait a minute, this isn't, this does not appear to be Edwards Air Force Base. It's very close. We're just going to pretend we didn't do that, or I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, just scooch on over to this other one. All right. Bunny says, yes, it is. I don't think it is, because I'm looking at my map over here, Bun. And if I look over here, here's a 9L2 right there. Right there. I thought it was too, Bunny, but it, it's not. I'm not sure, actually, what, what airbase is that, actually? I'm not even sure. Boy, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it's just going to be just over here, not that far away. Get over to the next airbase. Not that that's never happened before by mistake, right? One thing I do, it's like a lot of bouncing around here. Here's, here's our runway over here. Just drop down. All right, there we go. There's our airport right there. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? Where is he going? Not again. Gosh dang, I hit the wrong damn thing again. There we go. All right, everybody. Now let's make our way in here. God. I do like this JP though, it's pretty nice. There's our runway. There's Edwards. Last nat notch of flaps here. Okay, let's try this again. So we got the Piper here, we're gonna put that right down on that runway. And uh, let me reset my, there we go. Full notch, flaps, set. A little fast here. And I do have my axis control, like you can see, watch me do the uh, brakes, air brakes. See the air brakes come up? Get those back down before I crash. Like demo this, now I got too slow. Says uh, runway closed. Well, we'll ignore it. I obviously didn't do a practice flight at Edwards here, but uh, we're still gonna land here. That's correct, Brooks. <laughs> but wait, we'll just pretend we got special clearance, Brooks, to land on this runway. So ignore the uh, the the X's. There we go. So nose wheel steering is back in action. I got everybody landing now. So now I got to get, I got to get uh, over here and park. So there comes Chipper. So yeah, we're gonna ignore the yellow axis. And you're right, Brooks. That means the runway is closed. But we'll just pretend we got special clearance from uh, ATC to go ahead and land our squadron here because we're special. We're special, right? Yeah, that's right. We're special. All right. Now I'm gonna do something really quick because I've got to get my. Um, drone camera over here so i gotta switch this 
damage to easy, right, TNT? Because we've all seen what's happened before when I go here and I hit five, and it's got to go all the way over here. It definitely would have crashed right there. I would have Microsoft Flight Simulator would have definitely registered a crash. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on all the difficulty here, maybe. Once I get the simulator uh, caught up here, and I'll turn it back to hard so that y'all can. Um, I hope I didn't just reset everything. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, it said reset to defaults. Okay, here we go. Now I can get out and like see all of you. There we go. Okay, so thousand foot markers on runway two four. So X marks the spot. Yeah, that's what I was planning all along, Brooks. X marks the spot, right? Just hit that yellow X. Whoever gets in the crosshairs of that X is the winner. And, uh, you know, if those of you that have already landed, if you, we've got time. If you want to take back off, we'll start the landing challenge now. Go ahead and feel free to go around and take off. And um, I will catch you now that I'm in position. And uh, Captain Fozzie says, yellow X's, all I see are the orange whips. That is great, <laughs> Captain Fozzie. Hangar Studio 713's in the house, and I just saw somebody go by, and I couldn't see it. Light Tomcat, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Light Tomcat, did you hit the ground? Good to see you. Hey, how's it going, Hangar? How's it going? Friends, we've got a developer in here for the Cam Air 480. Hangar Studios is in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for joining us tonight. Who's going to win this first landing challenge? Inquiring minds want to know. X marks the spot right there. That's what we're all aiming for, that that yellow X. Couldn't be easier than that, right? Here comes Enrique. No, Enrique hits before getting to the X. That's okay, Enrique. Remember, it's the X with the white bars next. Oh, no, who is that? Who is that? Tilted Racer, Tilted. Missing the opportunity to hit the X. We still have the landing challenges, still anyone's game. Remember, you can land beyond the thousand foot markers and that yellow X and still qualify. And right now the board is open. We have no one in the lead. Bunny. Oh, oh, I think you landed before the, uh, nice landing though, Bunny. Oh, we got TNT. TNT bounced. It's still open. Bunny missed it. Bunny landed too soon. Blackfish just got robbed. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Light Tomcat coming in here. Light Tomcat with a name like that for a night like this. You got to be the winner, I feel. Right? Light Tomcat. Here coming with the F-22. Looking really good. Looking good. Oh, landed just before. Oh, my gosh. No. Light Tomcat, that looked good. It's still open, friends. It's still open. We've got Bad Boy landed before the X. This is difficult, I guess. We're all we're not all used to flying the military aircraft, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Help tilt the racer. Hell's teeth. This Harrier is a handful. No kidding, man. No kidding. Black fish got robbed. The, 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 it's all still open, friends. It's all still open. It's anybody's game. Chris Evans, can you do it, sir? In the FA-18, original happy, right on your tail. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, uh, no! Chris Evans landed before, and original Happy bounced as well! <laughs> oh, no! Epic Gamer! Nobody has done it! Just somebody just land beyond the yellow axis and just land soft and smooth. You'll take it. You'll win. Everybody's landing short. This is incredible. This is hysterical. White Tomcat, you already tried, right? White Tomcat, even though it looks good. That was about perfect. It would be Light Tomcat, but I think Light Tomcat, you already bounced once, right? Can I have a ruling, Bunny? Oh yeah, I know Bunny, right? You would think it was a GA flight. You, and actually, you did look like you had a almost perfect landing on that uh, first, on the numbers. Yeah, keep in mind, we're a commercial flight tonight, so it's the thousand foot markers, thousand foot markers. Enrique, you've already tried it once. There, it's right before that. It's still open. Silver Killer, just land beyond the X and you'll take it. Don't land yet! <laughs> there you go. Just land it. Land it. He's gonna go around. You get one go around, by the way, friends. You get one go around. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's the fact that there's so many planes here. We're all flying military aircraft, and there's so many different ones. 
that um, I'm having kind of shitty frame rates right now. Biohazard. I don't know. I think Biohazard has it right now. Can I get a ruling on that? But I'm having kind of shitty frame rates right now, and I think it's probably because the military aircraft... I don't know, because this is just stock. Usually it's pretty smooth. I think... I did, is that right, Bunny? We got... Um, Bio got it? Okay, I, I agree. Bio right now is in the lead, friends. Bio has her so far. We still got old golfer. We still have uh, ZX Pilot Ace in the A-10. Bad Boy Diamond. Did Bad Boy already land it? PC-21. That's the new airplane, right? Bad Boy? See, I don't have that, of course, but uh, Biohazard's like, let's go. Biohazard in the lead here. And a bounce! And a bounce! Oh, no, it's a bounce! <laughs> ZX Pilot, that looked like a nice landing there. I still think Biohazard has it, though, buddy. A bounce, as Bunny says, yes. Wow. 40 likes. Hey, friends, thank you for the 40 likes. I'll do a, I'll do a shuffle on our next leg. Yeah, I know you're all thinking, oh, gosh. Please don't, right? Brooks, the PC-21 has a really stiff suspension, yeah. I don't know. I know Old Golfer was uh, flying that earlier, Brooks, and um, I don't know who else was flying that. Uh, I think uh, Silver Killer, did you pick that up too, the PC-21? And here comes Epic Game. Did Epic Gamer already try a landing? I think Epic Gamer already tried this one. V-35 coming in, and of course I see Epic Gamer in a huge jet. Little be before, but that wasn't too bad, Epic Gamer. Here comes Old Golfer. Can old golfer do it? Ooh, that looked pretty good, Mike. That looked pretty darn good, buddy. That looked pretty darn good. Here, Silva Killer. Trying again. Now, Silva Killer had a go around. Ah, that was pretty good landing, Silva. Pretty good landing, although I, I, I think Biohazard still has it. Bunny, can you weigh in on that? Watfish coming in. Well, Watfish, uh, we've all had those days. <laughs> no worries, buddy. No worries. Bow still has it. Uh, buddy, thank you. Keeping an eye on it for me. Brooks, I've got to go. I've got school in the morning and need some sleep. As always, these streams are amazing. I've had a great time night, y'all. Hey, let's give some uh, orange whips and blue skies to Brooks. Brooks, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Hey, maybe catch us on Sunday night. We're gonna be we're gonna be flying Sunday night at the same time. We'll be in the World War II birds. I'm thinking maybe the Corsair, either Corsair or the P51. Here comes Silent Silent Hill Bandit. But uh, good night, Brooks. Thanks again for joining us tonight. Uh, Silent Hill Bandit coming in. Oh, oh, that's that's interesting. In the F4. That's kind of cool that you're flying the F4. Another one I don't have. I'm sorry. You know you're not all. Here comes Huzzah. Who's on? It's the next one. It's the next one. There you go. Oh, right before it. Another one. We're all landing short. We're all landing short. Look at BF35 doing his um, vertical takeoff there. A lot of us are too soon. Watfish, I think I won. Oh, my gosh. And Silent Hill Bandit will watch you even though you... Uh, you know, if you, if you, you know, the, here's the thing, and I should have said this before. If you actually fly and do a go around and you don't land, you get one go around, one try, just like we all saw Silva Killer do that. So keep that in mind for the next landing challenge, our last uh, leg when we, we go to land, because you do get that one more, one opportunity. If it doesn't look good, just in, like in real life, just give her full throttle, pull that landing gear up, and do a go around. Give it another try. Live to see another day, right? That's all you gotta do. Bow has it so far, and uh, so here we got, we're gonna watch uh, Silent Hill Bandit one more time. See, that's how you do it, Silent Hill. Too bad you didn't do that on your first try, because if you had, you would have won the landing challenge. But I think it's a consensus that we are giving it to Biohazard. Biohazard, let me put this in the books. And congratulations to Biohazard. Do I have a second for Biohazard winning the first landing challenge? Let me see here. I'm going to make a note. 
Anyone want to confirm that? Bio Buckle says Bio got it. And uh, okay, so we got uh, first landing challenge winner is Biohazard. Nice job, Biohazard Juiced. You got it, buddy. And let's all kind of keep in mind the next time. Actually, we probably should that runway almost landed at. That wasn't Edwards Air, Air Force Base. We should have all practiced there, right? So now we will um, take a bow break. Yes, buddy. We're going to take a bow break, friends. Um, I see there's 31 of us, 42 likes. Thank you so much. And this is for you before a bow because I'm just going to get it over with. Let's just get the pain over with. That's what we got to do. A little something next shuffle for all of you. Thank you, friends, for the 42 likes. Amazing. I appreciate it. All of you. Orange whip. Orange whip. Orange whip. 30 orange whips. <laughs> Thanks so much for the 42 likes. Let's take it like a maybe a five minute break. Meet right back here for lots more fun. We've got plenty left to do here. We got another whole leg to go. We're gonna do some flying under some bridges. Turn that off for a minute. We we'll flying under bridges, and then we're gonna make our way um, to our final destination. Uh, what's our final destination again? I forget already. Let me put the route up. Here, I'll put the route up. Yeah, that's a novel idea. There we go. There's the route. KSUU, which is Travis Air Force Base. So we'll be making our way to Travis Air Force Base. Nice one, TNT. Practice with the real. Oh, goodness, yes. Sometimes I forget about these emojis. For you members out there, thank you for so much for your membership. We're up to 63 members on this channel. And so I want to say uh, thank you to all of you that are supporting it that way as well. And, of course, just being here supporting. But, friends, five minutes. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Lots more to come. Stick around.
Okay, friends, hey, I decided uh, to mix it up a little bit and get, uh, you know, I always like to make this about, uh, you know, a back and forth and an interactive. You all get to kind of dictate what we do. I've always kind of liked to do that with these live streams, make you all that are in chat, whether you're flying with us or you're just watching, but making it part of input from you and let you all kind of dictate what we do so i just started a poll i see some of you are already uh putting in there what you would like me to do and so um asking a bit here in the poll do you want me to continue with the a10 that i'm in right now and actually i can go back down there and get into the a10 should i fly with the a10 continue with the a10 or should i switch to a different aircraft and uh, some of you are saying yes fly the f14 I see right now, nobody wants me to continue in the A-10. Hmm, that's peculiar. Um, so yeah, so let's see. So nobody wants me to continue in the A-10. I've got like right now, ooh, we got F-18. The beating out the F-14 just by a, a smidge, just by like that much. So let's see what happens. I'll give it about another minute here for you all to vote. I think it's probably safe to say that I'm going to have to reload to a different aircraft here. And actually, I got to check and see because I think I think I can do that. I, I, you know, I'm I'm not 100% sure, but if I switch to developer mode and turn that on, isn't there a way to switch the aircraft? I think they need to do this silver killer with um Uh, let's see, because I was thinking I could actually switch the, not debug. Project editor, not camera, options, auto hide, manage window. Can I do it with flow? I don't, can I switch aircraft with flow yet, Silver Killer? It'd be nice if I could switch in with flow. Uh, shoot, maybe I can't do it. Look at this, we... <laughs> so do I get a so if we're tied at like 50% on in between the F14 and the FA18 like do do I get a choose? Oh, there it is F14. Okay, I'm going to set my watch right now. I know I said uh, 1 minute, but I got to go close the store. So I'm going to do one more minute. So I've got my watch. My my watch started. I'm going to go ahead and I forgot to close my door to my studio here. And uh, so it's at 50 it's at 50 percent again. I almost said 50 cents. 50 cents, really? 50 percent. Flip a coin. I guess I'm gonna have to, Marion. Is somebody gonna do like the tiebreaker? We have 20 votes already, which is fantastic. There's 29 of you watching, so I know we can get a tiebreaker in here. We've got an odd number. Somebody can can vote and throw in the tiebreaker here. So I'm gonna end up having to spawn on someone after I load. So I think it's safe to say I need to exit out to the main menu. So let me do that quick. Ain't no one wants to default a Sobo F-18. 
<laughs> it's not horrible. It's not horrible practice. I mean, yeah, sure, one could be better, but uh, here, let me go ahead and uh, get out. I'll load the F14, and I think we're gonna call it. Okay, my timer's my timer's done. I'm gonna end the poll, and it is uh, it it's, it was a close call, very close call. So as you can see, did we get any votes? Zero votes for the A10. Symphonic, I guess you picked the wrong plane to fly tonight. Look at everybody. Well, of course, everybody saw the A-10 as well fly, right? So, I mean, there's that. So, again, making it all about all of you and what you want to see. Let me go ahead and get the F-14 F here. We'll go with that. And um, we'll have to choose the uh, bunny livery. And uh, I'm going to have to spawn on somebody, but I think I'll spawn in the sky. But uh, let me see, because I want to—I have custom waypoints to go under the bridges, although we probably can find them. But let me see if this will work first. So let me load, let me load this here. Hold on. Appreciate y'all your patience as I load this, and I'm going to go ahead and just spawn on one of you. Oh no, I can spawn. I can spawn here. Is that going to change everything? See, it changes everything. I think that sucks. Look at that. That's all right, so you know what I can do? Whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off from Edwards Air Force Base and then we'll just do this. We'll do golden. And we should, can I see the golden gate? I should be able to see the golden gate. Let that just do that. Golden gate bridge, there we go. This is easy enough, we'll just add that. And then where's the, uh, we also want the Bay Bridge, right? So we want to get the... Da, 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 Oakland Bay Bridge, right? So let's see if I can find that. Oakland... Will come up? Bay? No. Um, Bay Bridge? I don't know. Where's the Oakland... Oh, it's right here. Bay Bridge. There we go. Add. Okay. That could have been easier. All right, we're ready. Parking 16. I don't need to be at the general. If I if I switch this and it messes up, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm just going to leave it. I don't need this. We'll just stay at that. Okay. Let me load in. We're going, friends. We'll get this party started back up again. Thank you for your patience. I know. I know. I know I'm taking a while. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm doing what you all asked for. I'm going to be flying the F-14 with, nonetheless... The bunny livery, of course, that would be the Playboy bunny, not the buckle bunny livery, but we'll get this loaded up. And uh, I'm at the right, uh, I'm at the right Air Force Base spawn on me. I, and you know, if I see, that's the thing. If I spawned, I'd probably end up like 700 feet above, above you. I don't, yeah. The sunset is beautiful. All right, let me exit out of dev mode. There we go. Okay. We go. Okay, so let's... Oh, shucks. I just thought of something. I should have spawned on the active. Let me see if this will start up, but I don't think it will. Hold on, let me turn off... What the hell? Am I... <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What is going on? This is going to be a real moment. This is going to be a real moment. I have a feeling. What is going on? Look at this. Okay, what's going on? Look at this. I'm sitting on top. What the hell? I, I mean, really? <laughs> okay, so I guess I don't pick that as a spawn point. Close enough, Ricky's World. I mean, seriously, this is this is where I start. Okay, well, this is an unusual uh, starting place for a, a plane. God, really? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. <laughs> Bear with me. That was lame. <laughs> I love that Ricky's World. Close enough. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Okay, so we are taking off from, what is it, 9L2. I have it up above. 9L2. So we'll just do that Edwards Air Force Base. Let's pick a spot that isn't like that. Well, we'll just do active runway because then my jets are running and we can speed this up. KS KSUU, Travis Air Force Base. 
Um, and again, we'll do um, Golden Gate Bridge. And so we can just do that. And so we'd hit Add there. And then, what's the time always change on me there? And then we had the Bay Bridge just right around here. Where was it at? I found it before. I think it was right. There's the Alcatraz. Ooh, cool. Bay Bridge right there. So add, and we'll, we'll depart the active. Okay. Close enough. Here we go, friends. Let's get this started again. It won't take that long to load. And I'll say that'll take forever. Oh, give me give me a second. I forgot something. One sec. Just Just one sec. Don't go anywhere. Finally, good gravy. All right. Okay, are we ready? Who's all with me? We'll let uh, Flo do its thing as it gets caught up here. Let's go ahead and go silent cockpit. There we go. I see uh, Tip Bird, everybody up there. We're ready to rock and roll. And uh, so, gonna depart and go to the right. And uh, are we all ready, friends? Yeah, everybody's ready. So, like, we're waiting on you, Sim Fanatic. If you're waiting on us, we're backing up, right? Uh, so, who's up front there? Savakella, can you lead us off here? Vruden the Great is here. Can't chat. Hey, Vruden the Great is here. Welcome, Vruden. We, uh, yeah, I was wondering where the hell you were, Vruden. Like, look at this. We're on our, our uh, second leg, and it's only been an hour and 20 minutes with several reloads. So, we, we aims to please look at this i've got somebody's canopy on my right shoulder and then i've got somebody going through me such is life Roden, welcome to the live stream good to see you um why can't you chat by the way all right so we're gonna go here we go friends afterburners here we go Roden, they all voted and they voted f14 so here we go. Oh, there's the F-18, and we are off. And there we go. Gear up. Well, we'll definitely be able to go faster now, uh, everyone. Symphonics and uh, we can break the sound barrier. We can break the sound barrier with this bird, not with the A10, right? How many of you know who Captain Obvious is? Anybody watch Bob or list watch? Anybody listen to Bob and Tom? Captain Obvious. Do you know how to work the wings? Yes, I go faster. The wings detract. Uh, they sweep back automatically, but there is. A, um, I can't remember the control. That's for the hook. I think it's on the left here. Is that it? No, that's landing gear. There is a, um, Rudin, there is a, uh, a, a lever to sweep the, the wings back. So, like, you're on, a, on, you're on a carrier deck, you can pull them back. There's practice. Let me see if my uh, autopilot will work with this with this bird here. Let me see. Let me hold on. <laughs> Bruden, don't start pulling levers. <laughs> yeah, we know how that goes, right, Bruden? I start pulling levers, I end up dying. Yes, well, we all end up dying, right? Y'all with me. 43 likes, friends. Thank you so much for those likes and for your continued support. There's Epic Gamer and the F-18. this whole night <laughs> we're all getting dizzy <laughs> Andy, 
Oh, well, this person just stopped talking to me already. Uh, you have to open the little cover by your left knee and slide the slider back. Your left knee. Oh, that's here. Okay. I think that's what you're saying. Well, we won't do that right now, like you say, Broden. I'm not going to start pulling levers. Let me get the, um, let's see if the autopilot will work here. Yeah, it looks like it. LNAV and VOR. Nice. Just like you said, buddy. Yeah, you said that this one should work better than the A10. And then we'll do the heading. There's Huzza! Huzza. So again, I mean, like, uh, what? I can't remember what this aircraft costs. I think this, the F-14 here, isn't it like, is it 40 bucks? I don't recall how much it is, to be honest. Oh, don't, don't lock on me. Okay, cheat. Every time it does that, I like start getting nervous. Like, oh, there it goes. It's gonna freaking lock on me. As we continue to climb. Why am I climbing? Can we go chop that off? Okay. Is this going to follow it now? Mom, no hands type of thing? Uh, Wildfish is going to take off. I'm going to rush to the POIs and get off for the night. Good. Glad to be back in the streams. Jaha. Hey, um, Wildfish, thank you for joining us. And uh, understand, you know, it is a Wednesday night, right? It is a Wednesday night. We get it. We get it, Wildfish, and the rest, you know. But nonetheless, it's great to have you. And, we're, you know, it's just, it's kind of fun to do something a little different. You know, we, we've we been doing, we've been mixing this up a lot. Because, you know, for a while there, I know some of you, Ace is down, still in the house. Ace is, appreciate you being here tonight. Haven't missed a stream yet since a scheduled stream. we got to be clear about that ever since, uh, yeah, <laughs> we know, right? FS Expo. But uh, nonetheless, uh, but we've been mixing it up. Like uh, now we're doing the modern warbirds. We're flying F-14A10 tonight. We fly, we've been mixing it up. We've always fly it. We constantly fly the PMDG-73. We flew the Phoenix A320 not that long ago. We flew the A2A Comanche. Um, we flew the Trilander, AKA the cigar box or candy bar. We've also flown, what else have we flown? We've, um, Oh, we flew, the, we flew the Zenith, the last flight, like last weekend. We did like some uh, short takeoff and landings, which was an epic. Uh, we were in the Alps and in, in France, and that was absolutely an excellent, fun stream. Um, what else? We flew the DC-6 not that long ago. One of the things that we were talking about just last night, we haven't flown the Ford Tri-Motor yet. We haven't flo flown the Tri-Motor, so we need to do that at some point. So we'll probably have to figure out a time to do that. And let me see, where is everybody? Did I just lose it? Nope, we got uh, Original Happy up there, and we've got uh, Wattfish, uh, and that's it for up there. Oh, look at this. We have Enrique still. There's where the uh, majority of us are. We zoom out here. Uh, see Huzza down there, an epic gamer flying down. About to miss you. There you are, buddy. Uh, Tilda Ray says, yes, Sipanek, I'm here for the tri-motor. Awesome. Yeah, we got to do the tri-motor. And as you mentioned, Tilda Racer, uh, Tilda Racer, what was the, um, remind me, sir, what was the airport uh, that was the freeware that uh, you had mentioned in the United Kingdom that we should uh, check out? Because that did look pretty amazing. We should be doing that. Um, but um, maybe we'll do the war. But see, I think we might have to do the warbirds. See, this isn't following the LNAV. But we might have to do that too, right? Um, let's see. Where's our heading bug on this bird? 
Anyone? Anyone? Heading bug? Or, oh, here we go. Nav. There we go. Nav. ECM. So it's on L now, but it's not really following that. Because I'm going a little off course. I'm still fl kind of flying it between my knees. Oh, thank you. Okay, so there we go. Thank you, Bruden. Is it because I don't have the course set? Or what the hell's going on with that? Course track 304-296. Maybe that's what... Ooh, 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 ooh. If I do this now, will it, will it work? Let me try this again. LNAV. LNAV will it work. Let's go ahead and make sure we're tracking 296. We'll get it soon enough. Get back on track here. Practice says, uh, I've been uh, trying to figure out the autopilot all night on this F-14. Well, that definitely helped. Um, so thank you, uh, thank you, Vruden. So we'll get back and we can do our desired track, match that up, and get everybody here. So that should help. Uh, I think we're holding steady on the altitude. So we got the altitude hold, hold so that's good. Look how fast we're going. Would you all like me to slow it, slow down? I am going 417 now. Let me go ahead and slow it down a little bit. Won't take us long at all to get to our uh, destination here, will it? Um, I do. So if you ever want to see how to change this, so like if you ever wondered, like on the GTN 750, you're like over here on my left, and you're like, well, oh, you can't really see it. Can I move this up? Hold on. Can I, I want to move this. There we go. Um, so. I don't know if you can see this, but if here, let me turn off my camera here quick. So if you go down here, so like s some of you might want to be, might want to have it like instead of saying, where is that? Like, okay, there we go. So you might want to instead of saying desired track or where we're tracking, which actually I need to go a little bit to the right there. Okay, so if you want this to say like the time to your way next waypoint, you can actually change any of these fields. All you got to do is go down to. Um, menu and then you can go to change fields and this is kind of cool because like so i can say all right I've, rather than having distance there or maybe the ground speed maybe i don't care about what my ground speed is um, but i do care about my track right now i do care about the distance but maybe i want to change my ground speed for this aircraft to say all right i want this one you got all these selections of these field codes that you can change it so the one i often like to use is the um uh, the time to the next waypoint. So let's find that here. So you got distance to waypoint, uh, D distance to DME, ETA to arrival, estimated time to arrival, estimated time to waypoint. That, that's the one I like. It's this one right here. ETE, estimated time to waypoint. So now it shows us there, and then you just go back. Now we can see how much time is it until our next waypoint. That one I really like um, because I can see now, okay, and like especially when I'm live streaming with all of you, because now I can say, all right, everybody, we got uh, 19 minutes until we get to our next waypoint. And then, of course, if we go to the slow down to 400 knots, okay, I'm at 396, weirdo. So I, I got you, buddy. I'm at 396. Close enough, right? I'm a little slower even, get, let you catch up. Uh, but but uh, if you want to check out your flight plan, of course, you go here. So we got our Bay Bridge and Golden Gate and all that. So now I can tell all of you, hey, Sim fans, we've got 18 minutes and 45 seconds to our next waypoint, which is the Golden Gate Bridge. And that makes it a lot easier to uh, make sure we're staying on track with that. But, I mean, obviously, you know, that's one of those things that it's, yeah, I, I don't really care what my ground speed, well, I do care what my ground speed is, because, like, a lot of you sometimes will be like, Sim Fanatic, how fast are you going? And I can say, hey, I'm going 533 knots ground, you know, ground speed. But for right now, I would rather actually tell all of you, you know, how much time it is or how much distance. We got 170 uh, nautical miles to 
Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, we're tracking it tonight. So right now we're tracking right on right on the mark here. So we should be getting to, the, or I'm sorry, not Golden Gate Bridge, but the Bay Bridge. We go Bay Bridge first. So if we look at this, we got Bay Bridge first, then the Golden Gate right after that, because it's only five, mo five nautical miles, just shy of that. And then we'll go on to Travis Air Force Base. And it just makes it kind of kind of nice and saucy just makes it easy to have an idea of what you know how long we will have until we get to our, our uh, waypoint there and uh, this is a little a little different for me because you know I'm used to flying the PMDG 737 or the Airbus 320 uh, we did do the DC 6 for one of the commercial flights but again trying to mix it up trying to make it not so uh, monotonous and just stale Throw some stuff at all of you. Throw some stuff at me. Look at whoever's upside down. Guessing that's Silver Killer. Silver Killer. Silver Mother Fudden Killer. But uh, anyway, let's kick on some tunes again, because uh, cause we can. Let's get the tunes on. But anyway, yeah. So a little tips and trick for you, friends. That's how you change your uh, field code, and you can see there's all kinds of field codes in there, and you got the GTN 750 that's going to be with really any aircraft that you fly, uh, because I can pull that right up here off the menu, right? Is it cheating? I don't think so, because I just think, you know, as a pilot, you always want to use your resources, right? So you use your resources. That's what you do. Hey, if we got the resource here, it's, there's nothing wrong with using that. I'm going to actually shrink this down a little bit. There we go doesn't take up so much real estate that way but uh, again I'm going 393 knots right now uh, so uh, practice does anyone know how to set altitude on the F-14 um, I just fly to the altitude and I hit altitude hold but I bet if I had my Bravo camera I could probably set it right there let's see is it down here it's a good question practice I honestly, I haven't flown this aircraft other than just to dick around at it. Um, anybody help practice out on how to set the altitude? I'm sure, because like here we've got course, um, range, but I don't, you know, I don't see the altitude. I bet if I had my, there's a couple ways I bet you could do it, practice. If you have the uh, Bravo Quadrant, you could probably just use your dial in the Bravo Quadrant, or... I'm sure it's in here, though. It's got to be in here. Nav GPS. Let's see. What do we got? Main. Middle screen. Top left shows you altitude. Middle screen. Top left. Okay, pilots. You can fly under the bridges while upside down, bunny ass. Yikes. I think we all can, bunny. I think we all can. Pitch LAD. Position wings. Air conditioning. That's a must have. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, Mike. I'm not seeing it. Top right. Okay, there, yeah, but uh, I think what Proctus is asking is how do you set it? How do you set it? Or are you talking it's in here somewhere? Com. I'm pro VDI trim. Oh, wait. Um. Yeah, set for autopilot. Go Mach 1, CSGO says. <laughs> Let's add another challenge. Let's go Mach 1 under the bridge. Upside down. See, you all can do that because either A, you don't have collisions on, or even if you do, you're not having to live stream for everyone that's out there, and then, you know, you crash, you look like a moron. For everybody to see. Silver Kill says, I'm in. Silver Kill is in. This would be, this would be me. I gotta turn the, the sound up here. But like, say, set 18,000, yeah, for the altitude, yeah, I don't see it. I mean, I'm sure it's here somewhere. It's, it's probably down here somewhere. Actually, I bet it's over to the left, because I saw some of the autopilot stuff over here. Pitch, uh, autopilot, altitude, so here's your altitude set. Um, 
navigation GPS, but where where is our dial? See, I just... I mean, you obviously can set it because it's like right here, right, practice? Like, I assume right here. Because there's our speed, there's our uh, airspeed, and then over here, we should be able to set this mother butter. What's going on? Where's it at? Somebody's got to know. Uh, VHF, Nav GPS. Oh, maybe that. Ah, uh, but that's. Was that why? Oh God, what I just do? <laughs> I think I just switched it to. Yeah, I switched it to GPS. Well, there we go. Now we're on Nav mode. Well, what the hell? Look at that. <laughs> All right, one problem down fixed. Sweet. So this is what we do, friends. We just go through and just say, click buttons until shit happens. Although I don't know if stuff's happening. Maybe that... Nope, I'm getting online. There we go. Look at that. In the chorus line. Sweet. Now we just practice. Now we just got to figure out the um, the altitude thing, buddy. Now we got our GPS mode, so keep that in mind. That's how you switch to GPS. I turn on my yaw. No, I don't have a yaw damper. Huh. All right. I don't know, buddy. I'm not seeing where the hell you set... Does it come with a manual, Ricky asks. Well, that's a good question, Ricky. I suspect it does. I've, I clearly haven't read it. There's no RTFM here, friends. Oh, wait, look at this. Anti-ice uh, external environment. Windshield. Ah, shit, this is where... Oh, no, wait, that was the A-10 we were in. Never mind. We're in the A-10 and we we're icing up. Never mind. Oh, wait, what's this? Heading. Watch me, like, release a can. Oh, here's a, here it is! Here it is, practice, I found it! Altitude. But I can't see it because... Here. Here you go, buddy. It's right here. Underneath the canopy to the right. Why isn't it going up, though? But there's the dial. Oh, God. I just pushed the button. What'd that do? Look, 25,300. There we go. But why can't I dial this in? There's your altitude, though. Is it here? It's this. Let me check. Oh, there we go. Right here. Practice. Here's your... Okay, so that enables altitude. Here's your dial up and down right here. There you go. And there's your speed. Vertical speed. Found it. God, that didn't take me too long. Like forever and a day. But there you go, practice. <laughs> we'll get it figured out together. We got it figured out, friends. We got it figured out. What is Bunny saying OMG to? Yeah, we all learned, exactly. That's what we're here for, practice. We help each other out. If we can't if we can't figure it out, or no, nope, let me put it this way. If we don't know, or one of us don't, doesn't know, we'll figure it out together, right? That's what we do here. Just like you said, yep, we all learn, exactly. Clearly, I didn't know that until we got it figured out there, so... Good stuff. Okay, so we're only just under 10 minutes, friends. Uh, so we're going to have to start thinking of descending because we got to get under this bridge. And uh, we've got to go... Did somebody say Mach 1? Seriously? Who said Mach 1? Like, uh, clearly, you're not all expecting me to go Mach 1, right? I mean, that's a bad number. Anybody want to take a guess how many in knots uh, Mach 1 is? Anyone know? And without Googling it? Victoria! Uh, Wade Wright says, I am back. Victoria, welcome back to the live stream. Great to have you back. It's always good to see our sisters here along like with Buckle Bunny and, um, um, you know, we've had... Uh, Aces with uh, your wife and uh, Mrs. TPHI17. Always good to see our sisters in here. Uh, who, who's got the... Uh, Bunny says 750. Bunny, did you cheat and look? It's close. Bunny, you're really close. Really close. That's right, Victoria. Six, I'm not going to say that number because it's evil. I'm going to round up. 667. Not, not that I 
believe in that sort of thing. 667, nah, it's not that I don't believe in evil. There's definitely evil in the world. Don't get me wrong, but like the whole number thing. We, yeah, 667 knots. So, really? Are we going to really try to fly 667 knots under the Bay Bridge? Upside down? I think we'd all die. You all can go ahead and do that. I got a, I got a stream to keep going. <laughs> right? I've got, a, I've got people here that aren't going to want me to reload. I just say triple nine invert, revert, inverted, yes. Oh my god. That bunny, you are. I don't know. That, I mean, upside down? I'll think about it. I've got time. I've got like seven minutes to think about it. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll leave it up to the uh, the fans. We have this as, as interactive, so let's let the fans decide. I'm going to start a new poll, and I'm going to ask who wants Symphonic to try it, and we'll I'll crash. I'll guarantee it. Should Symphonic go Mach one upside down under the? Oakland Bay Bridge. I, why am I even asking this? Because I know what everybody's going to say. It's clearly everybody's going to say yes. Why wouldn't they? My oh, man, this is a stupid poll. <laughs> right? Like, who's not going to say that? Even if I crash, who's like, well, just spawn on somebody else. Show us what you got, Flyboy. <laughs> oh, somebody said no! <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Somebody said no. I wonder who said no. Somebody's trying to help me out there. Ricky's World says hell yeah. Somebody's trying to help me out. Oh, somebody else said no, see? I might be able to get some people to vote no. I don't think I'll have enough though to vote no. Love the jet and VR so much fun, says Biohazard, awesome. Uh, CSGO Weirdo says, can the F-14 go Mach 2? I don't think so. I don't think it can. But we, you know, if we if we can go over, I mean, I'm not sure about that. Let me just be clear. I don't know for sure. Oh, Victoria said no. Thanks, Victoria. I don't. Victor, oh, look at this. We got 75-25 out of 16 votes. So 12 votes for yes, four votes for no. How about that math? It's easy math, I know. <laughs> Oh, don't go pat yourself on the back just yet, uh, Symphonetic. You are no physicist. You need to put a uh, content place in your polls, Colin says. Oh, a comment place. Content. I don't think I can. I don't think I can put co the comments. The comments need to come from you and chat, I think, Alan. Richard Clark says the Golden Gate would be much easier than the Bay Bridge. How about that? Let okay, how about that? How about we do the Golden Gate Bridge at the speed of sound because we can do a practice under the bay bridge. I like this idea. Thank you, Richard Clark, because we can do like a regular under the bridge like you wanted to do, buddy. Not inverted. And then we can work our speed up to doing... Um, <laughs> we can work our speed up to uh, getting Mach 1 under the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm really liking that, that idea, Richard. And Bunny says no. Oh, do we have to stick with the poll? Anyone else want to vote? Nobody else is voting. I think it's safe to say end poll because both. Are you doing it as well, Bunny? I think everyone else is doing it. I know I'm going to crash. It's going to be so embarrassing. Why not? All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Fine. You all voted. Whatever. Just another reload. It's, hey, you know what? It's no skin off my back, friends. It's going to be all you waiting as I reload this damn simulator and into the next flight. Well, actually, I can do restart. It doesn't take that long. And then I can spawn on someone. Some poor soul. <laughs> that was not the deal. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Although I have something planned I just thought of. It'll still be a legit... CSG Weirdo says, to the right is my house. Really? Zip it. Maybe to open the canopy, too. I, I'm gonna do it, buddy. I'm gonna do it. 
The polls are in. We're going to do it. Uh, we're only 32 miles away and about three minutes. I think it's about time to descend. So let's go ahead and disable the autopilot and get ourselves going here, friends. All right, let's go ahead and pause the music. Here we go. Pick up the speed. I just got to make sure we don't. Uh, look at that. There we go. We just broke the sound barrier. Did you see that? that was, I mean, keep in mind, that speed over on the left, that's indicated. Or, you know, so... So we already going... What did, I, what did I break the sound barrier there? I don't need to be going faster than the sound barrier. Is that about indicated? Fox firing. Practice it a little bit here. Get ready for the inverted mode. We gotta go under the Bay Bridge at the speed of sound. So I think it's about a 485, right? Colonel Indiana Long Nuts says we. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Wish me luck, Colonel. Okay, don't freeze up on me, simulator. There we go. Let me see. Let's go. We gotta get faster here. It's loading textures on us. Okay, there's the sound barrier. Sound barrier is at 570, 570 knots. As we get lower, there's the wing sweep back. There it is, right there. Yep. Okay, about 600 knots at this. At uh, this, because we're getting close to um, obviously sea level, so we got to be around 600 knots here, friends. See, we're, we're breaking the sound. So you can see that we're breaking the speed, sound barrier. Bay Bridge. Here it is. There's Bunny. She's ready. I don't think she's inverted, is she? Why am I doing this? This is ridiculous. Here goes Chris Evans. I'm so dead. I knew it! Damn it! <laughs> oh, I was beginning to think I could do it. Oh, such a cool flight tonight. Buckle Buddy says Woot. Yeah, th Woot is right. For a moment there, I thought maybe that is pretty low, though. I think Richard Clark is right that we should have uh, <laughs> we should have done just the regular one and then 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 attempted it at the Golden Gate Bridge. But nonetheless, I hey. You all called it. You wanted me to try it. So, damn it, I crashed too. He says, still the racer. RC Aviation said, easy. Where, is, where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? Oh, I didn't get, a, I didn't get to spawn on you. So, I'm going to go. Uh, I got to go back to the main menu. See, now it breaks up the stream. Buckle Buddy says she nailed it. Yeah, because none of us are there to watch it. You nailed it. And CSGO Weirdo says, perfect. Whatever. Like, are we going to trust these? I, I made it too. No, all oh, you're watching me. I can't do that. Yeah, practice says 800 knots inverted. How many of you had uh, damage turned on? That's what I want to know. Who had damage turned on? Uh, let's see. I've got... Okay, who can I spawn on? Uh, let's see here. Chris Evans. I'm going to spawn on Chris Evans. And what am I going to be at? I'm going to be at uh, 5 feet. Okay, great. I'll probably... I'll probably Chris, did you just fly under the bridge? Because it said my elevation would be five feet. This will be fantastic. I roll. <laughs> hey, you know what? I believe you, buddy. If you say you nailed it, then you nailed it. 
You nailed it. Why did I let you all talk me into this? Now look at this. Now I gotta wait for it. Now we have 32 viewers. <laughs> so maybe it does work. I don't know, but... Oh my good goodness. Okay. Oh god. Look at this. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm freaking dead! Okay, Chris. You need to be higher than five feet. <laughs> This is going to be like, oh, now, okay, now I'm just going to continue, like, just reloading. I hope everybody's entertained by this, by the way. <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> Best spawn ever. Oh, Colonel. Yes, in indeed. God. Okay, so the next person I spawn on, I'm not going to spawn on this five feet off the ground, okay? Let's just, like, okay. I'm a slow learner, but I got that figured out already. <laughs> People are doing the laughter and stuff. Oh, but spawn on you, bunny? Okay, you're high. Okay, well, I'll spawn on you then if you have enough altitude. Don't try to trick me now. Don't be playing games. So am I, bunny. Ha ha ha! Oh, man. I need like a uh, drum roll crash cymbal sound on my stream deck. I'm going to work on that. So when you all make jokes, I can do that. Right? Nope, 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 don't be doing this! What's going on? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I don't want to reload again! No! Thank god! Jeez! What's with this crazy thing? Oh my goodness. Okay. This thing, like, get caught up here. Oh my god, I almost died. Bunny, you aren't that high! Okay, I'm gonna turn this off up here. And, um. Someone turn on the lights. Okay, I can turn off the uh, pause break. So there we go. And I didn't program the GPS, so. We're gonna have to get to our destination. Where's the Golden Gate Bridge? Anyone around the Golden Gate Bridge? I just. Now I gotta find everybody. Where did everybody go? Oh gosh, if this guy doesn't get up... Oh my gosh, no, why... See, now look at the points of interest are like... Well, maybe it's just one. There's a carrier. I see over there, Silver Killer. Epic Gamer. Silver motherfucking killer. ATC services yeah, good, thanks. Terminate my ATC services. I don't want you bothering me anymore. There's a the Golden Gate Bridge. All right, here we go. Epic Gamer coming in. I see y'all. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that because it just looks cool. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna come outside here and then do a UE. There's practice. Bye, practice. Forty-seven likes. Thank you, friends. Rich Clark. It should be uh, west northwest of the Bay Bridge. Thank you, sir. Go to Epic Gamer. I'm at the bridge. Okay, let me get to turn around here. Oh god. Whew, that was close. I think there's a wall under the bridge right now, it says. Look at all the fog layer. Like, the real deal.
All right, let's try it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I fail. I failed. I have failed. Oh my goodness. It's so hit brooding, so real you can smell the crap. I <laughs> think up the streets. Oh god. Uh, okay, let's not try that again. Don't don't be going back to this Don't not dark now. Come on, come on, going. Hold on, hold on. Alright, there we go. Pause. Let's get to daytime. Hold on. Daytime. There we go. Alright, and so we don't have to re uh launch it, but because you all know if I bounce, I'm just gonna do this, because if I bounce, then you know I didn't make it, but at least we won't have to like relaunch it. Now I gotta find it again. I'm just thinking of everybody in the stream. I know they don't want to like be waiting around for Symphonatic to like get everything restarted, relaunched. So I'm just I'm just thinking of all of you. That's that's the kind of guy I am. That, that's how nice I am, right? It's not because I, uh, you know, don't want to be embarrassed or anything. It's because uh, yeah, I'm thinking of all of you. You know me. That's what I'm about. Been going under a million times, my ass. All right, here we go. So we've got the Golden Gate Bridge over here, right? I think I've got the right one over here, up ahead. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, there it is, over here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now watch. I'll turn. It'll be like in my head. I'll turn off the. Um, Damage and then I'll make it. I was just, I was going too slow before because I couldn't do the inverted thing. I did it because I didn't have damage or not. Is that legit? Give me some... Hey, let's turn it over to Vruden. Vruden, I made it because I know uh, Bunny won't believe it. But I just made it because, of course, I turned off damage. So then, of course, I don't freak out and I make it. <laughs> See, it's jail with the orange whips. Oh. <laughs> Captain Howdy. Captain Howdy, how you doing, my friend? <laughs> How's it going, Captain Howdy? Okay, can we, uh, can, uh, Symphonac take the lead and get us home? Can we now go home? Look, I'm even going be up, up beyond the sound barrier there. <laughs> Bunny is watching. Awesome. Alright, so, look at that cloud there. That's kind of cool. All right, friends, let's head home. Let's head home. All right, so if you want to know, up top, you're going to see the route information. So there you are, all for you, friends. Are you going to see, or did I have it up before? No, I just took it away. I just took it away. KSUU. And so if we go here, I'm sure some of you are already on your way there. So let me go over here to KSUU. Buddy says, go home. <laughs> We're going home, buddy. We're going home. KSUU for our direct. I have no idea if I'm going the right direction. So we're just going to say... Uh, direct KSSU. There we go. There we go. 
How many of you are already on your way in? I think you are. So we've got a ways to go yet to get there, but uh, we've been playing around long enough. I don't know if we need to go supersonic or what. Who's all around me? Let me take a look. Oh, look at, look at all of you. Holy cow, look at all of you. Silver Killer coming up on my six. Silver Killer. We've got uh, practice back there, Silent Hill, Bandit, uh, Tilted Racer, Epic Gamer, Huzzah, Chip of Seas, Mary Harris, Biohazard. Congratulations on that first landing challenge, by the way. Uh, we've got, um, I don't know, who else we got? Light Tomcat back there. And, uh, Bunny, where are you at? Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and break to the left. Get on course. Hopefully we all have enough fuel to get over there. I know I do, because I relaunched, but uh, get ourselves over there. Twenty-three miles, Bunny says. Bunny, you're closer. I'm fifty-eight miles. Well, that's for the approach. That's if I'm not going direct here. Well, that's interesting. I can't just like enable that, huh? Look at that. I can't activate that part. Activate. Nope. Can't. Can't activate that either. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, whatever. Fine. Fine. On. Chris and you are on a bombing run. Nice. Well, Silver Killer and I are flying uh, Cap. Epic Gamer as well. Who's Mama Gigi in the Tomcats? Welcome, Mama Gigi. Long way, Symphonetic. Marinetta says I went through inverted. Nice. I'm going like supersonic to get there quick. There's Silver Killer. Silver Killer. Silver Killer. Nice. How are your wings spread and you're catching me? My wings are swept and I'm not going as fast as you. How does that work? We should do spruce goo. Oh, you've mentioned that before, Bruden. Doing the spruce goose uh, group. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe we'll have to do that. You have mentioned that before. We'll have to try that out. That would be amazing. I know you've flown that several times in the live streams, uh, Bruden, doing the spruce goose. But So tonight we're doing, the uh, obviously, the Modern Warbirds flights. And then um, this Sunday, just as a reminder to all of you, as we wrap it up here, and it's only... It's only 10.38. Um, we're going to do the Warbird 2. Uh, World War 2 Warbirds on Sunday at the same time, 8.30. Uh, we've been landing runway 2-1. Remember, anyone remember what runway that was? I think it was 2-1. Let me check it quick. But yeah, don't miss the uh, Sunday night live stream. For, uh, yeah, well, 2 1 left. But uh, don't miss it. Um, so, yeah, um, Sunday night we'll be live streaming at 8 30 Central Daylight Time and 01 30 Zulu Time, which would be 01 30 on Monday morning. Um, but yeah, we'll be flying that, that flight. Um, and I haven't figured out. I, I know, Silver Killer, you talked about the Corsair. Be, is a, you love that aircraft. So I'll probably look into getting that, or just uh, Bunny, you're flying the P-51. I don't know about Proctus or um, or Old Golfer, the rest of you, but 
might have to try to figure out what uh, what we do there. But uh, I gotta slow down because we're almost to uh, to the airport here, and we're gonna do another landing challenge, friends. So who's gonna win this second landing challenge? Is it going to be a tie, or is uh, Biohazard going to take the gold tonight and win this one too? We're gonna have to see. Just gonna have to see. Looks like Bunny's already there. All right, just enable track IR. Track IR is enabled. You see those fans? See those fans running? Pretty cool. Runway right down there. Anybody have the altitude of this uh, runway? I forgot to look. By the way, if you're wondering, if you're all in here and you're wondering, what the hell is that thing on his uh, uh, on his headset and with the little three lights? It's the Trek IR. And that's how when I turn my head. I can actually look behind me, even though I'm not looking fully at 180 degrees. It's pretty slick. 170 approach. Thank you, Vruden. 140 on touchdown. Thanks, Vruden. That's very helpful. He couldn't have given me that at a better time. And speed brake. Yes, friend. Thank you. And we'll put in speed brake. That's that. Can you see it from here? I can't see it from there. Thank you, Verdon. That's helpful. 170 approach. Thank you, sir. Can you put the flaps down to one at 250? Okay, I'm going to do it. Flap one. Uh, CSGO, CSGO Weirdo. Uh, we actually want to be on the 1,000 foot markers, buddy. We do need to play DCS practice. You're right, buddy. You're right. All right, uh, landing gear down. And 170, 140 a touchdown. Two notches of flaps, Rudin, is that right? I need to get these gamer tags off because I can't see. Nothing against y'all, but I just need to be able to see. You got the hang of the streaming thing yet? <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rudin says 170 on approach. Bruden's very familiarized with this uh, aircraft, I think. Bruden, right? Oh God! What a okay. I'm good. Yep, speed brakes off. See? Alright. By the way, I'm loving my JPEN uh, mounts. I showed those at the beginning of the stream. If you're uh, just catching us now, you need to check that out. I've got the T1600M Thrustmaster um, flight stick and throttle, and um, the JP are mounts that uh, have a pretty nice. I don't know why more vendors don't use the clamp style, um, but anyway, you, I've got both my flight stick. I'll show it at the end here, and my uh, throttle set up on this, and it's really nice. It's 
stable and okay 1,000 footers watch this I think I hit right dead center on those. What do y'all think? <laughs> Down the center line, I feel it. I felt it. I don't know if somebody was watching, but it felt good. It felt good. All right, let me get over and park so I can catch y'all. I'm just going to go over here so I can catch y'all. I feel like Symphonex got it right now. What do you think, Fruden? Think Symphonex got it? All right, here we go. So I'm going to park here so I can get y'all in here, and I'm going to go outside and uh, see if I can see ya. All right, one, again, 1,000 foot markers, friends. 1,000 foot markers. So right here, the solid lines. Uh, Kelly Cal, thank you for the nice landing. Kelly Cal, I don't n normally get uh, kudos, but uh, I will take it anytime I can get it. Uh, looked like the Silent Hill uh, got a uh, pretty good landing there as well. Uh, but thank you, Kelly Cal. Uh, let's see who's next. Buckles waiting on the side there. Really not give it a sex. <laughs> what a dick. Always doing that. Oh man. Ruin, you're a hard one to please, brother. Thank you, Silvakos. Silvakos says you nailed it. Woo, that looked good too. Oh, two good landings. Wow. Silver motherfucking killer. Right there. Uh, Chris, that looked like a good landing. Biohazard, I think that looked like a good landing as well. Huzzah's coming in. Just a little bit before their huzzah, but nonetheless, you still are pulling it and rolling it out. Good landing, nonetheless, buddy. Who's next? That's what I want to know. Who's next, friends? Silver, you think we'll get up to 50 likes? One more symphonic shuffle before we conclude tonight? What do you think? I think we see Tilted Racer coming in, gonna nail this, is what I think. But the AV8, that bugger. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, you know what? At least you tried, buddy. Silver <laughs> says 50, no problem. We're at 49, brother. All right, here comes Tipper, Tipper down Cleveland. Let's see what you got, buddy. Land that sucker right in the middle, along with Chipper Sneeze. Marion's going to come in and pull it off, too. Oh, nope, that's okay. Here comes Chipper. Oh, so close, but no cigar. Seven, 152. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Epic Gamer coming in. And it's looking pretty damn good. Probably, oh, bounce a little bit, I think. Just a little bit there, Epic Gamer. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. We're going to go to the jury here for that Epic Gamer. Can we get a, a, a uh, well, Silver's flying, so he's not paying attention. But Bruden's probably paying attention. Can we get, it? did I, did it, did it bounce? Bruden's got to go. Which is what I was counting on you, Bruden, to help me with this. You got to go. You got to hang nail, Bruden. Is that what's happening? You got to get that cut off. I'm kidding, buddy. I kid. I appreciate you being here tonight, Bruden, from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. Thank you so much, Bruden, for coming. So good to see you. I was glad we got to see you. We were talking about you. I was talking about you. Who's that coming in here? Oh, bounce. The bounce. The bounce. Captain Howdy says a little bounce. Okay, thank you, Captain Howdy, for weighing in there. Uh, let's see. Who do we have left? Light Tomcat. Silver Killer. For another try. Silver, did you land that? Is this just like for fun? Or did you do a go around? I think we have uh, oh McClyde's coming in McClyde in the McClyde in the PA24 hey that's all good oh uh, Silver Killer doing it for fun uh, Tell the Racer says I got closer that time but stalled right at the last minute yeah but you're flying the Harrier man that's you know if we ever wanted you know one some night we're, okay so what we might have to do whether it's a GA uh, we'll watch you here Silver even though this is for fun but if, 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 you know, if we're going to do a GA flight or a commercial flight, but maybe what we're going to have to do is something that comes with at least the um, standard version. Nice landing there, Silva. 
like the standard version of um, Microsoft Flight Simulator and like what what comes with it, you know, like the aircraft that come with it. And we all, so what we could do, see, I just thinking this, thinking of this right now. What we could do is like, anybody can fly any plane, but if you want to enter the landing challenge, you have to fly this default aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator, whether it be the F-A-18 or the C-172 or um, the 747 or, you know, or what, what have you. Um, you know, the A320neo, whatever it is, but like if we do the land challenges, like we all have to fly the same aircraft. Um, and people can fly other aircraft, but they just think they don't qualify for the land challenge then, right? We, I mean, we could do something like that if we want to like do, you know, a landing challenge where everybody, it's like level, kind of like flying, I, or flying, like racing, I racing. You know, you all have the same class of car, and you have, uh, you know, a fixed um, configuration for your car, so everything's even, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, like fly-by-wire A320, exactly, Captain Howdy, or uh, Al Cleveland, so you have to uh, specify what aircraft or challenge. Exactly, exactly. And look at this, oh, it's Flight 7. Okay, he's, look at this. Three months of bad dancing. Oh, how the time flies. Oslad Simma in the house, friend. Say hello to Oslad Simma. I was hoping you'd be lurking around there, Shane. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much. And, and uh, Shane, member for three months. That is awesome, buddy. Thank you for your uh, support, not only for the membership, of course, but all your support in every way I can think possible outside of... Uh, of this, right? Um, you're a friend, Shane. I consider you a friend and uh, definitely appreciate getting to know you and uh, partnering with you. I feel like I've benefited more than you benefited from me, but I do oh, I do, do I do owe you some uh, custom emojis and I'll, I'll get those to you. But Shane, thank you for your continued support, my friend. ZX Pilot says, I really enjoyed the experience. Great way to spend the evening. Hey, ZX Pilot, great to have you back here. Thank you for joining the live stream, ZX Pilot. Um, hope to see you on Sunday if you can make it. If you can make it. Seven Kilo, thank you for dropping the uh, exclamation AFS. If you haven't been to uh, Off Flight Simmer's uh, site, do, do check it out. It is amazing. He is a fantastic contributor. Um, what are you up to now, Shane? Like 87,000 subscribers, so um, well deserved. Provides great content. And just one hell of a guy. So, Shane, again, thanks for being here, buddy. Uh, Tilted Racer says uh, that was a super fun flight. Thank you, Tilted Racer. Appreciate you being here. Uh, it was. I, I had a lot. Of, I had a lot of fun tonight. I figured it would be something a little different. Uh, so I'll fly in the uh, military aircraft. Uh, McClyde's going to come in and grace us with the PA24. Oops, I need to do this, friends. But uh, I, did everybody come in? Who won that? Uh, look at everybody together. Together, like look at this. Uh, look at everybody. Uh, that's cool. That is cool. Actually, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can make sure I get everybody's nameplate. Great flight was fun. I agree. I don't know. I don't know who won. We're all winners, right? We're all winners. Get a screenshot of that, uh, friends. But uh, been a fantastic uh, flight. Been a fantastic stream because of all of you. I'm only the guy up here embarrassing himself in front of all you. You're all the ones that make this this dream come become real. So, uh, friends, again, thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me be uh, embarrassing myself in front of all you, <laughs> as I always uh, love to do. Because why not, right? And Osflight Simmer dropping a $5 dono. Osflight Simmer, thank you so much for that, Os. Appreciate it, buddy. And this is for you, Os. And for all of you at 53 likes, a double. <laughs> Gotta turn off the other music. Orange Whip 71 for to conclude the night. Gotta do the Orange Whips, right? Orange Whip. Hey, Shane, Orange Whip. Everyone else, all of you, orange whip. How many are in here? 24 orange whips, friends. 24 orange whips, and here we go. Thank you for that $5 Donald, Shane, and thank you all for the 53 likes. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for letting me do this, because it's really, 
groovy. I know you're all like feeling a little saucy when I do this. A little saucy, right? And remember, Shane, it's not this, not this, this. See, I gotta do that when Shane's here. Friends! Motion. Friends, thanks again for <laughs> the three likes and not for taking them away. Uh, Shane, again, thank you for the $5 dono. Appreciate it, friends. And so I'm going to conclude tonight with it's been an absolute blast, a lot of fun. I appreciate every single one of you for being here, for being part of this family, being part of this great hobby of flight simming. And those of you, hopefully we can spark that interest in maybe taking up aviation as a profession, some of our younger uh, folks out there as well uh, and uh, you know it's a really rewarding experience I know Shane you've got your PPL um, I've got mine I'm not current but uh, I've got it I so real pilot like to fly love to fly Marion Harris dropping the two dollar and forty cent dono Marion Harris chipper sees thank you for the two dollar forty cent Marion says thanks for another great flight thank you Marion chipper sees for being here tonight and for dropping the dono and friends again what do you think? Sunday night. Hopefully you can all join for a little uh, World War II action. World War II birds will probably be in the UK. And I'm thinking Tilted, if you're still in here, we might uh, share that magnificent, almost like top quality payware that you can get for free. So watch for that. And maybe we'll be doing some UK flying on Sunday evening. And uh, us, Shane, are you? Uh, when are you? Give, when are you back in action? We're looking forward to you uh, being back in action, doing live streams, and I know maybe. Uh, and Shane mentioned maybe we can do a joint flight one of these nights. We've done that before, and uh, you know we've we've got the whole sim people that love to join us and us's family and our family and both our fam all of our families because we have many families together. But uh, that'd be a great great night as well. So. Stream last night, oh, I'm sorry I missed that, man. I, actually, I remember I did see a notification, but different time zones. But again, I, uh, I'll try to make the next one. It's good to hear you feeling better, Shane. And uh, again, check out Oz Flight Simmer's channel for some amazing content and live streams and what a contributor uh, to our community. And so, friends, I'm going to quit rambling because I just ramble on. I'm going to close out. We'll call it good. Have a great rest of your week, friends. And then I'll be doing the call out in chat, as I usually do, friends. This is Symphonatic saying, love ya. Thank you, Tate Clips, for the 99 cent dono, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's get some orange whips and some blue skies to Tate Clips, to all Flat Simmate, and uh, to Marion Harris, and to all of you for your continued support. Okay, I'm going to shut the hell up, and I'm out. Peace out, friends. Blue skies, and we'll see you Sunday. Good night. Blue skies, friends. Blue skies.
Okay, as usual, friends, I want to do another shout out for all of you that contribute in chat. So I won't maybe get all of you, but I'm going to try my best. So thank you, Tilted Racer, once again for joining us tonight. Ace is down, my friend, my moderator, my buddy, my brother from another mother, been with me forever, it seems. Aces haven't missed a scheduled live stream yet. Thank you, Aces, for joining Silva Killer. Thank you, my friend, my brother from another mother. For all your continued support, Silva Kayla, especially, you know, not just everything you've done here, but all that you've done for the Flight Sim Expo was amazing. And I uh, appreciate you, my friend. Don C, longtime follower, member, my friend. Hope you're doing well, Don. Thank you for joining practice. So good to see you as well and being, you, you're a regular as well now, man. Uh, appreciate your practice for being here. Marion Harris, another regular chipper sneeze. Thank you, Chris Evans, regular, long time. T uh, Tate Clips, for the first time joining, says yo. Thank you, Tate Clips, for that dollar donation, my friend. And thank you for joining us for the live stream. First time we've seen you on here. So good to see you. Uh, appreciate your support but, uh, as well, my friend. Um, Oz Flat Simma Mate, of course, Oz Flat Simma Mate. Uh, big shout out to you as well, my friend. Do you like my accent when I say mate? That sounds. Your wife says I sound English. What do you think about that? Hey, what do you think about that uh, tilted, tilted racer? Yeah, but uh, Oz, Shane, glad you're doing well. Glad you're back in the house and streaming once again, my brother. Captain Howdy, thank you for joining us as well. It's so good to see you. Vruden already left, but hey, nonetheless, Vruden. Vruden, thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it, brother. CSGO Weirdo as well. CSGO, thank you for joining Richard Clark over from All Slide Semisite and become a friend and family member of ours as well. Appreciate you being here, Richard. Good to see you, sir, as well. Biohazard Juice Regular. Biohazard, I don't know if you're still here, but appreciate you being here tonight. ZX Pilot took off, but ZX Pilot, thank you for joining and um, Ricky's Royal Pilot Rick, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, Pilot Rick saw you at FS Expo as well. Good to see you, brother. Alan Cleveland, Captain Howdy. Um, pretty soon these streams are going to go forever. They'll go until like 6, 6 a.m. This is great. Kelly Kell, good to see you uh, here as well. We have uh, some yeah, female simmers in here, and that's always good to see our sisters here. So good to see you. Uh, Buckle Bunny, of course, um, moderator and uh, great supporter of the channel. And um, let's say, you know, it's, it's just been amazing having you part of this community as well. And appreciate all your support. You've done a lot and appreciate it. Colonel Indiana and Long Nuts. Boy, that's a mouthful. Boy, that sounded bad. <laughs> Colonel, it was good to have you here as well, my friend. Thank you for joining. Who else we got? We've got... Um, Avi oh, RC Aviation Adventures was back in the house and joining us tonight. So good to see you uh, as well, RC. And did I... I know there's others that... I can only go so far up. I can't, like, go all the way to the very beginning. But uh, in anyone else that uh, came in or was here during the live stream, appreciate all your support. If I missed your name, don't worry. Come back. I'll get it next time. I think I said practice. But, yes, friends... Thank you so much once again. Hopefully we'll see you Sunday at 8.30 Central Daylight Time or 01.30 Zulu, which would actually be Monday morning, 01.30. And um, hopefully we'll catch you then for some World War II Warbird actions. And until then, friends, again, this is Sim Fanatic signing off saying love y'all, happy simming, blue skies, and we'll see you soon. Take care, friends.